Uh, I've never really done an unboxing just because it's always kind of seemed, I don't know, they're not bad. They're kind of cool if you're look, interested in a certain item and you wonder about it, but just never been a thing I thought about doing. But today I got this, it's the Vivo uh, honey extractor and figured why not. So let's see what comes in this package. This one I bought off of Amazon. It was like 360 something after taxes and everything. And it's supposed to be able to extract four deep frames uh, tangentially, which is just flat, or up to eight medium or shallow frames radially, which is like on edge. Okay, let's see what we got. Got a manual. Got some really not very well thought out styrofoam. <laughs> Keep that from blowing away. Okay, we got a hardware pack. Honeygate. Oh, they even give you some concrete anchors to bolt it down. Looks like lock nuts and stainless bolts for the legs. Okay. Okay, well, we'll just pull those out all together. There we go. Seems legit. <laughs> Hopefully that's what that's supposed to do. I feel like it's not. Okay. Some more poorly thought out styrofoam. There's that. And here's the business end. Hey, that looks pretty slick actually. I don't know where the, supposed to be doors for the top of this. Maybe they're in there somewhere. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, they're in here. Okay, let's see. Let's get this bad boy out. Okay. There she is. Well, that's not too bad. I had watched some videos where someone said they had to weld a bottom ring on. That was a different model, but this actually looks like one piece or like it's bent. Also red, there's a ball bearing you gotta be careful of down here. And uh, I guess if you pull this whole unit off, you can, to clean it or something, you can lose the ball bearing. So let's just take a look here. We go into the patio here, all my random stuff is. Grab a couple frames from here. Well, I've got honey, so why not? We'll do it with real honey frame. That's more fun. So, let me grab one of those. All right. I'm gonna grab an empty too, just for gets and shiggles here. Okay. So, the way this is supposed to work, I'll have to figure out how to do with this with one hand. Okay, so supposedly should be able to fit this in there this way. Oh boy, barely. Let's see, yeah, a little fit. There we go. Boy, ah, snug, but it works. And then Okay, there we go. Boom. So you can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight medium frames in that bad boy. Uh, I don't know how stable it's gonna be, so we'll see. That has yet to be seen, but um, the motor looks pretty decent. Um, I mean, electric motors are becoming more common and a little more reliable from offshore manufacturers and as long as it's got good bearings and coils it should I mean it's a pretty simple machine so it should be decent it's all metal uh, not bad really I kind of am interested in these bolt how these uh, 
standoffs here hold the legs on so that has yet to be seen but we'll see how it holds up i'll put it together and make another video but so far it looks decent uh you can tell it's going to be a little bit challenging to load and unload just because it's real you can see it there's not much clearance here between the frame and this uh, crossbar where the motor's mounted so you kind of have to finagle it a little bit here i'm busting my honey already I'm not even trying to extract this one so i can see this is going to be one of the challenges of using this when i extract i'll make a video too okay that's the unboxing